Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining us for our virtual award ceremony here for our high school students. My name is Renee Gomez. I'm the head of school. I'm joined by Vicki Stringham, our upper school principal. And we want to take some mom a moment uh, this morning to recognize outstanding academic achievement in, in the area of fine arts for our high school students. At this time, we'll give you some logistics for awards, and then we'll go ahead and open with a word of prayer, and we'll proceed with today's presentation. So, uh, picking up awards, we are going to uh, talk through the awards, and on May 27th, Wednesday, we will have those awards for you in your homeroom class when you come and return your books. So you'll be able to pick it up from your homeroom teacher. Those students that do not have a homeroom, like our seniors and some juniors that come in late, you can pick those up in the collaboratory from Ms. Steele. So she will have those for you. All right, let me make sure I have all my notes correct. Yes, and so let's go ahead and open up in a word of prayer and then we will continue with the presentation. Let's pray. Father, we praise you. We exalt you and we thank you, Lord, for in these difficult times, Father, you are sovereign, you're in control. Father, you know it all, and there is a purpose and a plan behind the time that we're going through. Lord, we thank you that you bless us, Lord, that you walk before us, and Lord, that you hold us in the palm of your hand. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to recognize outstanding achievement in academics and in fine arts from our student body, Lord, our high school students. Lord, bless them. We thank you for them, Father. We pray, Father God, that as we finish this fourth quarter, Father, uh, through remote learning, Father, that you would be with them, equip them, and help them, Lord, to do their very best to finish this academic year. Father, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin, and we're going to begin uh, recognizing two middle school students. Uh, we did not have this award yet, and so we want to make sure that we recognize them for what they have uh, received. We wanted to add this in today. The Junior Service League of LaGrange and Lafayette Christian School would like to honor two sixth graders, one boy and one girl, with the Pat on the Back Award for good citizenship. These students receive these awards because they have demonstrated good citizenship, patriotism, friendship, and generosity through the 2019-2020 school year. The Pat on the Back Award winners will be invited to carry special banners for the 4th of July Parade. The 2020 Pat on the Back Citizen Medal winners are Tucker Haynes and Jessica Martinez. Congratulations to those two students and we will give you more information as we receive it, okay? Moving on now to the high school subject awards. And so these awards, you would, uh, we recognize them with a ribbon, and these are for the highest average in each individual subject. So we will start in the area of math. The highest award, or the subject award, for the highest average in Algebra One goes to Isabel Matheny. In honors algebra two with a 99.75, Alex Tusing. For college prep algebra two, Sadie Moeller. For honors analysis with an average of 100, Isaiah Tusing. The algebra three recipient, Tyler Bauer. I'm sorry, Taylor Bauer. My apologies, Taylor Bauer, algebra three. For high school general math, Matt Sisk. Congratulations to these recipients of the subject award for math. Moving on to Eng English and Language Arts. High School General Track English, John Bragg. For World Literature, 9th and 10th, Abby Elder and Mariah Parks with a 92.5 average. For 9th and 10th Honors World Literature, Grace Kelly and Isaiah Tusing, both over 98. 11th and 12th grade American literature, May Snyder, 94.75. AP language composition, Claire Ann Corbin, 93.25. And general track, high school American literature, Lindsay Woodruff with a 97. 
Congratulations to these high school students in the area of English for their award. <clears throat> okay, moving on to social studies. In Old Track High School, U.S. History, John Bragg, 92.75. Ninth and 10th grade, World History, Robert Taylor, 99. Also, 9th and 10th grade world history, Julie Bell Haynes, 97.25. And in college American history, Ben Dixon. Great job, guys, in the area of social studies. Excellent job. Now, moving on to science. Honors physical science, Karsten Butler and Alex Tusing, both with a 96.75. Physical Science, Julie Bell Haynes. Honors Chemistry, Ben Dixon. College Prep Chemistry, Cameron Giesler. And High School General Track Chemistry, Lindsey Woodruff, 92.2. Great job in the area of science, guys. Congratulations. Now for Health. Ninth grade Health, Alex Tusing, 98. 11th grade health, Ben Dixon, 99. Congratulations, guys. Moving on to Bible. New Testament survey, Grace Kelly. In theology, award recipient, Nathan Hudson. In high school general track, Bible, Emma Grace Scott. Oh. We have gotten to the point where we are going to present probably the most prestigious academic award known to man, yeah, the agree. Spanish Award Ribbon. Yes. Wow, what an honor. This award that is going to be awarded today equates probably, this is arguably, equates to a 1600 in the SAT. Absolutely. These recipients are Grace Kelly with a 98 and Julie Bell Haynes with a 96.25. Congratulations, ladies. All right, the Stringham is gonna go ahead and introduce our honor roll recipients. All right, we're gonna um, tell you who made the honor roll and then we're also gonna indicate of those students who earned an academic letter. In the ninth grade, with a 3.0 to a 3.49, Anna Kate Bockerich, Isaac Parnell, Avery Bailey, Brady Firth, Zoe Pike, Jordan Earnhardt, DJ Battle, and Abby Tremoloni. In the ninth grade, with a 3.5 to a 3.99 GPA, Laura Lynn Davidson, Jackson Carney, Blakely Gazar, Karsten Butler, Cameron Probst, Rena Hall, and Isabel Matheny. All of these students in the 3.5 to 3.99 category have also earned an academic letter. In the ninth grade with a 4.0 and an academic letter, Alex Tusing. Congratulations, freshmen. Moving on to the sophomores, with a 3.0 to a 3.49, Corbin Carlson, and Abby Elder, congratulations. With a 3.5 to a 3.99, Bailey LaRoe with an academic letter, Jack Rensenhouse, academic letter, Luke Abel, academic letter, Connor Giesler, academic letter, and Lindsey Woodruff. 10th grade with a 4.0 or higher, and all of these students also earn an academic letter, Julie Haynes, Grace Kelly, Hannah Stevens, Bobby Taylor, and Isaiah Tusing. Congratulations. Our junior class with a 3.0 to a 3.49, Kaysen Firth, who also earns an academic letter, AJ Parks, Cameron Elliott, Matt Sis, Mary Claire Bockerich, and Josie Gosden. Juniors with a 3.5 to a 3.99, Sadie Moeller, who also earns an academic letter, and John Bragg. 11th graders with a 4.0 or higher, Ben Dixon, Abby Crandall, Grant Gedney, Tanner Jackson, 
Amanda Davidson, Luke Garner, and Emily Ward. And all the students in that 4.0 category also earn an academic letter. And on to our seniors. In the 3.0 to the 3.49 category, Taylor Dollar, Sydney Gazar, Taylor Akers, Rich Williman, Emma Gray Scott, and Erin Fetner. In the 3.5 to 3.99 category, Mae Snyder, who earns an academic letter, Haley Burns, Cameron Giesler, earning an academic letter, Abby Maddox, Haley Clark, Shelby Langley, earning an academic letter, and Danny Yarbrough. And 4.0 or higher, all earning an academic letter are Claire Ann Corbin, Pierce Butler, Nathan Hudson, Baker Davis, and Ty Kelly. Congratulations, honor roll students. So we're gonna move on to some fine arts awards now, looking at students who have earned letters in chorus and drama this year. And those of you who have not received the actual L that we give as a letter, we'll make sure you get one of those. And then you earn patches to add to your letter. Um, there's an academic letter patch and then these fine arts letter patches as well. In the 10th grade, earning a letter for chorus and drama, Grace Kelly. A drama letter goes to Katie Kilmer and a drama letter goes to Bailey Lorette and a chorus letter to Lindsay Woodruff. Juniors, earning a chorus and drama letter, Sadie Moeller and earning a drama letter, Amanda Davidson. And seniors, earning a chorus and drama letter, Ian DeCastro. And earning drama letters are Abby Maddox, Shelby Langley, Ty Kelly, and Emma Grace Scott. Congratulations on your chorus and drama letter. Okay, I'm going to introduce some distinguished awards by our accrediting agency, the Association of Christian Schools International. They recognize outstanding junior students in five areas, academics, fine arts, leadership, Christian service, and athletics. So these individuals have been recognized in these areas. For academics and fine arts, Abby Crandall. For academics and fine arts, Amanda Davidson. For academics, leadership and Christian service, Ben Dixon. For athletics, Cameron Elliott. Also for athletics, Kaysen Berg. In the area of academics, Luke Garner, Grant Gedney and Tanner Jackson. And in the area of fine arts, Sadie Moeller and Emily Ward. Congratulations to these students, recipients of the ACSI Distinguished Leadership Award. Moving on to the Georgia Certificate of Merit. Each year, the University of Georgia awards the Certificate of Merit to the top 5% of the junior class. This year's recipients of the UGA Certificate of Merit are Ben Dixon and Abby Crandall. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. We're gonna move on to some subject area awards in fine arts. In drama, we award a couple of different um, honors. Some actors are gifted at memorization. But outstanding actors are gifted at great characterization, consistently giving such energy and attention to their craft that you stop seeing the actor and begin to see the character before you. This year's recipients of the Drama Outstanding Performer Awards are Zoe Pike, Cameron Probst, Amanda Davidson, and Ty Kelly. Congratulations. We also have outstanding technicians in the drama department. The tech crew, they're behind the scenes, 
They're magicians who create moments for actors to shine. Outstanding technicians bring order to chaos. They create things of beauty out of insulation foam and duct tape and take the initiative to solve problems when others panic or unplug. This year's recipients, recipient of the Outstanding Technician Award is Pierce Butler. Congratulations, Pierce. We also have some chorus awards. In chorus, every voice counts, but there are some outstanding singers that are like glue. They hold everyone else in the pocket and on pitch. And when they're out, things get a little loose and everyone feels it. This year's recipients of Chorus Outstanding Performer Awards are Jack Rensenhouse and Haley Burns. Congratulations. We also have a Visual Arts Award for each grade level. The Ninth Grade Art Award goes to Rena Hall. Tenth Grade Art Award goes to Julie Haynes. We have two recipients for the junior class of the Art Award. Abby Crandall and Emily Ward. And in 12th grade, the art award goes to Claire Ann Corbin. Congratulations, artists. The Junior Service League not only gives citizenship awards to sixth graders, they also give two awards in the senior class. So these awards are the Uncle Sam and the Lady Liberty Award, one to a boy and one to a girl in the senior class. The students receiving these awards have demonstrated good citizenship, patriotism, friendship, and generosity throughout the school year. The Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty Award winners will be invited to carry special banners and flags in the 4th of July parade. The Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty Citizenship Award pins this year are presented to Rich Williman and Emma Grace Scott. Congratulations, students. Mr. Gomez mentioned earlier that the Spanish award was equivalent to a 1600 on the SAT. I don't know about that, but we do have some SAT and PSAT awards we'd like to give out today. We recognize students who score 600 or above on either category the evidence-based reading and writing or the math section of the PSAT and the SAT. And then we give medals to students who have earned a school record in that category. So here we go. On the PSAT, a freshman certificate goes to Alex Tusing in the area of reading and writing with a 640. PSAT awards in the sophomore class certificates go to Grace Kelly, Jack Rensenhaus, Hannah Stevens, Bobby Taylor, and Isaiah Tusing in the areas of reading and writing, and also to Isaiah Tusing in the area of math. And we have some junior awards. Ben Dixon receives a reading and writing certificate with a 730, and he also receives a math certificate with a 650. Luke Garner is receiving a reading and writing certificate, as is Sadie Moeller for the PSAT. Moving on to SAT awards, and this is where medals come in. So with certificates, in the sophomore class, Grace Kelly receives a reading and writing SAT certificate, and we have certificates and medals for three other sophomores. They did a great job on the SAT this year. Hannah Stevens receives a certificate in reading and writing and a medal. She tied for second place record. Bobby Taylor is receiving a reading and writing certificate. He took the first place spot for the reading and writing section for sophomores on the SAT with a 690. Congratulations, Bobby. And Isaiah Tusing, Tied for third place in reading and writing. <coughs> and he also took the third place school record in math. So congratulations, sophomores. We have some junior certificates to award and also one medal. Ben Dixon is receiving a reading and writing certificate and a math certificate. And Ben gets a math medal 
because he took the second place school record for juniors in math with a 6.8. Congratulations, Ben. Certificates also go to Luke Garner, Tanner Jackson, and Grant Gedney for reading and writing, and also to Luke Garner for math. And in our senior class, we have five students receiving certificates in the area of reading and writing. Nathan Hudson, Cameron Giesler, Abigail Maddox, Danny Yarbrough, and Haley Burns. Congratulations to these students. All right, at this time, we're gonna go ahead and introduce the Male Athlete of the Year. This recipient is from the junior class, so we wanted to take an opportunity to recognize him here at an award ceremony. I asked the coaches to give me a little summary of this young man and what he means to our athletic program and what he's done this year. And this is what they had to say. This is from multiple coaches. Every team, needs an athlete that will step up and lead. The male athlete of the year is this type of leader. This year, he worked hard, he always played hard, and he always pushed his teammates to do the same. He was also the team's emotional leader. When things were tough, he challenged himself and his team to keep fighting. When others were discouraged, he lifted them up and encouraged them to keep going. When the team needed an effort play, he always seemed to give one. He never quit and never backed down and was never going to let his teammates do it either. Most importantly, he was a great spiritual leader. He always had a great attitude and was respectful of his team, his coaches, his opponents, and everyone involved. He always gave a great example of what it meant to be Christ-like in his actions and always reminded his team that we are only doing what we are doing to bring glory to the Lord. One of his coaches said, I trust him with everything I have. This young man has earned respect from other schools, coaches, and players around the league because of the way he played the game with integrity, respect, and Christian character. These qualities and leadership are the trademark of the 2019-2020 Male Athlete of the Year, Ben Dixon. Congratulations, Ben. All right, next we want to go ahead and move into the area of Christian character. Christian character awards is the ribbon given to students that have been recognized for outstanding Christian characteristics by their teacher. And so we'll start with the freshman, Anna Kate Bockridge recognized for joyfulness. Joy is defined. Laugh hard, smile big, and encourage others to do the same. That is joyfulness. Her smile can light up the room regardless of how anyone else is feeling. Congratulations, Anna Kate Bockridge. Karsten Butler for orderliness. Karsten, it says, he defines his gift of administration. Karsten is consi consistently leading classmates and bringing order to group work, class, and his own personal assignments. The Lord has gifted him in being able to fix his surroundings to best learn, comprehend, and apply curriculum and knowledge of the Lord. Next is Brooklyn Flores, or sincerity. Her honest questions about salvation and faith has shown her openness to work out God in her life. Isabel Matheny is recognized for discernment. This quality is so evident in her thoughtful answers to any questions regarding biblical worldview. Mariah Parks is recognized for gentleness. Mariah's quiet and gentle spirit is lovely and has been an asset to my classroom. Next, Zoe Pike for hospitality. Teacher says, I have never met a student more mature in their care and concern for others. The teenage years of my own life were more marked with self selfishness and self-centeredness that always seemed to get the better of my character. Zoe consistently and joyfully creates a classroom environment of love and care for others. From gifts 
to consistent thank yous, to encouragement of her peers. Zoe makes any classroom warm and loving and full of kindness. Congratulations, Zoe. Now moving on to 10th grade. Luke Abel, truthfulness. Luke can always be counted on to tell the truth. He is reliable and trustworthy and a joy to teach him and his peers. Next, Julie Bell Haynes for determination. From academics to sports to her walk with Jesus, one word sums up the student I've seen in Julie, fighter. She sees that there is room to grow in every aspect of her life and she embraces the challenge and perseveres. She asks for the extra work, longing to push herself even more to accomplish the goal she has set for herself. Congratulations, Julie and the sophomores. One more, Grace Kelly for discretion. Grace has responded with maturity and kindness to many types of situations this year. All right, Ms. Graham. For the junior class, Mary Claire Mockerich is being given the Joyfulness Award. She is joy defined, her teacher says. She laughs hard, she smiles big, and she encourages others all the time. I have to agree. Congratulations, Mary Claire. Ben Dixon is being recognized for wisdom and boldness. The Lord has obviously blessed Ben with intelligence and brain power. And yet his ability to apply that knowledge is amazing to see, hear, and watch as one of his teachers. Ben's ability to recall scripture and bring it up and discuss scriptures in light of the subject at hand is beyond his years. Case and Fur is being recognized for determination. I've watched Case and fight and not give up, all without losing heart, with an attitude that glorifies the Lord. I watched him battle through academics and his personal walk in sanctification with Jesus. I watched him war with his own introversion and battle to be obedient to the Lord, knowing that the Lord's will and ways are more worthy than his own comfort. What a testimony, Kaysen. Sadie Moeller is being recognized for discretion. Sadie has responded with maturity and kindness to a variety of situations that have come her way this year. And we appreciate that. AJ Parks is being recognized for sincerity. AJ is a joy to have in the classroom. I never question the motives behind his actions. He wants to be obedient and considerate and longs for everyone to cooperate and work together. His words and actions flow from a hum humility and meekness that doesn't need to be seen or heard, but that truly longs for all to think, speak, and act in a way that's in tune with scripture. We need more people like you, AJ. And Emily Ward is also being recognized for discretion. Emily too has responded to quite a few situations this year that may have been difficult, but she approached them with maturity and with kindness. Congratulations to the juniors. And in our senior class, Erin Fetner is being recognized for endurance. Erin presses on even in the presence of obstacles and her determination and endurance are an inspiration to those around her. And Abby Maddox is being recognized for attentiveness. Out of all my students, Abby's the one who never fails to look directly at me when I'm speaking to the class, one of her teachers said. Thank you for that, Abby, I agree. Um, in our middle school awards last week, we recognized our upper school teacher of the year, but we want to do that again just in case some of you were not able to tune in to that um, live stream that we did last week. Lafayette Christian School is blessed with many great teachers. Each year we ask our LCS families to weigh in on who they see as deserving of the teacher of the year honor. This year's upper school teacher of the year is certainly deserving. One family said two of their children have had this teacher and they found the teacher to be personable, working hard to get to know every student. This teacher has high expectations, but those expectations are not unrealistic or unattainable. He's been described as genuine, kind-hearted, setting a wonderful example for students in all areas of life. He's an expert at incorporating God's word into lessons in the classroom. 
He's valuable to our LCS family, both academically and athletically. But most importantly, he's a spiritual leader for all of us. I appreciate his wisdom and experience and support of me as an administrator. Join me in congratulating the 2020 Lafayette Christian School Upper School Teacher of the Year, Mr. Bill Bryan. Well deserved, sir. All right, at this time we're going to go ahead and recognize some teachers for their time here at Lafayette Christian School and their longevity serving you, our students and parents. Receiving five-year employee pins are Kevin Payne, Amber Donnett, Patricia Kelly, Roy Bowden, Emily Thomas, Stephanie Kelly, and Jared Pike. Thank you for your service. Receiving a 10-year employee pin, Darlene Shaw. And for 15 years here at Lafayette Christian School, we recognize our very own high school principal, Vicki Stringham. Thank you, employees. Okay, at this time, we're gonna go ahead and transition from our upper school awards ceremony to our senior chapel segment. Senior chapel is a time, a traditional time, where it's our last chapel of the year for our seniors. And we, even though we are virtual, wanted to take an opportunity to give this to them and have them be able to enjoy this experience. And so I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Stringham. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Usually we would be passing out stoles and academic honor cords and all of those things in our senior chapel. Um, instead, we're gonna recognize a few major awards and give you some information about how you can view our virtual senior chapel. So I wanna recognize um, three major academic honors that go to our senior class each year. Valedictorian is the student in the senior class with the highest cumulative percentage average, and the salutatorian is the student with the second highest cumulative percentage average. The class of 2020 valedictorian is Nathan Hudson, and the salutatorian is Clarion Corbin. Congratulations to those students. And our star student is a student with the highest SAT score in one sitting, and that goes to Baker Davis. Congratulations, Baker. We have um, a tradition of packets of letters for our seniors where friends and family send in letters. And we wanna let seniors know that you're gonna pick those up with your awards on the 27th when you bring all your books back to us. And our virtual chapel service is gonna be available on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel after this live stream is over and you'll see three seniors speak to you some words of encouragement, underclassmen, Baker Davis, Ty Kelly, and Danny Yarbrough. I'm gonna give you a few words of encouragement and you'll hear Mr. Probst speak, giving you just some advice for the future and some words from the Lord um, in that virtual chapel. And then also a couple of senior wills that seniors submitted are in that virtual chapel. So we wanna invite you to do that um, view that after this stream is over. As soon as it's uploaded, it'll take a couple minutes for us to do that. And uh, we wish you could be here with us, but we're thankful for the technology that allows us to do these events virtually. And that's it for today in our um, honors and senior chapel event. And I'm gonna close this in prayer. Lord God, we just thank you for our students in high school here at Lafayette and all that they do to make this a great place to learn. We thank you that they're building your kingdom every day, Lord, and we pray a special blessing on our seniors who've had this year derailed and have handled it with beauty and grace, and we're just grateful to you for all you're doing in our lives and our school, Jesus. It's in your name we pray, amen. 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 Amen